USRPT turns good sprinters into killers, maybe average swimmers into quitters. Let's break down the real science and the trade-offs that you have to make if you're going to implement USRPT so you're not wasting the season. Let's get into it. What are the pros? Number one, neurological precision. It trains race-specific motor patterns while under fatigue and it eliminates slow twitch muscle contamination for sprinters. Number two, no junk yardage, so potentially 30 minute sessions to deliver what you want. It forces honest pacing, so if you miss your time, you're done. Number three, it's data driven. So your failure points expose your exact fitness gaps. The cons then, number one, there is no aerobic base. This can't be substituted for general conditioning. There is a real risk of regression if we use this all year round. Number two, there's a psychological toil. It's because there's a 68% failure rate in the early phases. And there's a high attrition rate because not everybody can handle the constant failing. And then number three, there's an increased risk of injury. It's because repeating max effort repeats demands perfect technique. If you have poor shoulder stability, then you can say hello to rotator cuff issues. So who should, and more importantly, who should not use USRPT? Well, it's ideal for post-puberty 50 and 100 meter swimmers. Swimmers with a proven aerobic base and experienced coaches who have a full understanding of energy systems. You're going to want to avoid this realistically if you're a coach of athletes who are under 16. If your facility lacks precision timing techniques, so if you're relying on one stopwatch to time a squad of 25 swimmers, this is not for you. And speaking as a club coach, avoid it if you don't want to deal with parental complaints. So if you want a little bit more information, I have a PDF on how to implement USRPT. It's not mine. It's from um, another source that I can't remember at the moment. Uh, but if you want a copy of it, I can send it to you for free. Uh, just comment USRPT down below and I'll fire it off to you. So don't forget to tune back in for the next one. We talk about how to blend our, our models without losing your mind. See you next time and keep swimming.